Enough with the games. We should be out there doing something. Ever hear the old proverb? Opportunity arrives while Khajiit takes nap. That doesn't even make any sense. It does when Zaji's feet are tired. Good to see you, friend, but something is wrong. While you and Lady Arabelle were off, we scoured Gonfalon Bay for signs of the Ascendant Order, and we found nothing. Not even one of their damn pamphlets. They're up to something. I know it. I knew it. That explains why we haven't been able to find any of their knights around Gonfalon Bay. The Ascendant Magus must have gathered all of his forces to participate in the attack. What do you need us to do? Hmm. The best place to hide a vessel on that part of the island is Jury's Cove, north of the Navir docks. Let me guess. Nereid's Song is an Ascendant Order ship. You want to use it to slip past their fleet and rescue the Alliance leaders. Here, I'll mark the cove's location on your map. As for a crew, well, you're looking at your captain. As for the rest, I'll see who I can drum up. One captain is good, but two is even better, yes? Make that three. I can't ask you to join me in this. You are not asking. Zaji is telling. Looks like I've found a crew. Head to Jury's Cove, friend. We'll collect Lady Arabelle and meet you there. Dear, Captain Colleen was about to tell us her plan. Why don't you ask her how she wants to proceed? The ship looks seaworthy. We just need to get past those Ascendant Order Knights. <sighs> Always with the plans. I usually just wing it. Looks like the Ascendant Order's almost done loading the ship. If we want to seize the Nereid Song, it's now or never. Cut the mooring lines. Start with the dock on the left and deal with any knights that get in your way. While they're busy with you, the rest of us will go around to the right and board Nereid's song. We'll take care of the crew. Once you've cut all three mooring lines, climb aboard. We'll do the rest. And don't pull your punches with those Ascendant-ordered bastards. I lost a lot of good sailors when the spearhead went down in their storm. Get ready, all of you. Once things begin, we'll need to move fast. Give the word, friend, and we'll set sail. Nereid's song is ours, Lady Arabelle. Excellent. Set course for All Flags Islet. There's no time to waste. Oh, wait. 
Yeah, we saw. But where are the Alliance leaders? Friend, let's talk. I wanted to get the Alliance leaders safely behind the wards in Memorial Hall. Or perhaps even spirit them away on the ship. But I doubt we'd succeed at that trick a second time. You need to find the leaders and get them to Memorial Hall. Another relic of the All Flags Navy and the site of the peace talks. The Mages Guild cast protective wards around the hall to ensure the safety of the delegates. They should hold for a time. Take this medallion. You can't enter the hall without it. Defending the castle as best we can. We need to hold back the Ascended Order as long as possible until Lord Bakara arrives with help. If the Magus gets past us, you must protect the Alliance leaders. We'll buy you all the time we can. We need to protect the Alliance leaders. Where are they? Scattered, I'm afraid. Queen Irene was with us, but there was a great rumble and screams from below. She ran to help. Go, my dear. Make sure Queen Irene gets to Memorial <gasps> Hall. Jakan, help me sort things out here. We must hold the castle until help arrives. Everyone in the castle. They must not get by us. Ascendant Order ships in the loch, rogue knights and their druid allies inside the castle. They may have the numbers, but I say let them come. Together we will make them pay dearly for their victory. As glorious as a fight to the death would be, I suppose I should try to survive. My subjects need me. But the others went in search of their own battles. Prince Ernskar headed up to the battlements. Track him down while I clear a path to the hall. Find Ernskar, then look for Emmerich. He said something about dealing with the storm. We will gather at Memorial Hall, but understand this. I have no intention of hiding behind wards while others die to protect me. This queen fights her own battles. Ascended all the rags just keep climbing up. Help me dispatch them. If that next ship reaches the dock, will be overrun. We have to do something. I don't know how you got here, but I'm glad to see you. That ship approaching the pier is full of Ascendant Order reinforcements. We need to do something. 
Not while we're all that stands between victory and death. If I abandon the battlements now, we'll be caught like wolves in a trap. I need you to deal with the vermin scaling the walls, while I prepare the ballista to attack that approaching ship. Good. Then I can use this ballista to destroy that ship. Just get down to the dock and keep these rats at bay long enough for me to smash those reinforcements out of the water. Then we can fall back to the hall. He went down to the courtyard to deal with the Elder Tide Druids. Can you believe they allied with the Ascendant Order? They're feeding this storm. You should help him. After you help me. All I need is a moment to clearly align the ballista. The door at the south end leads down to the dock. Keep them from scaling the walls and I'll put this siege weapon to good use. is ours friend but we shouldn't linger too long we need a solid well fought friend if you're here lady arabel must be nearby now what does she have up her sleeve if i've learned anything in my long association with lady arabel it's that she always has a plan in the works ah yes the protected hall i thought lady arabel's arrangements were overly cautious events however reveal the wisdom of her actions as much as I dislike hiding, we must deny our enemies an easy victory. Do you have an invitation medallion? Then we should make use of the defenses she prepared. I'm sure she plans to launch a counterattack, just like she did during Rance's siege of Wayrest. Why, she... Ugh, never mind. A tale for another time. The door to the hall is on the south wall. More enemies approach. Quickly, into the hall! Use your medallion. It's the only way past the wards. As much as this galls us, this is the prudent course. The Ascendant Order can't breach. You think yourselves safe? I will bring this castle down on top of you. Force the breach. <laughs> 
Ascendant Magus. To the courtyard. Friend, join me. And we'll take the battle.
strength of the mountain! He's conjuring something big. Water cap with my magic. Now, release the energy back out. but the Lord is still out there somewhere. The Magus has fallen. We will deliver the same fate to his Lord. Our friend here made this victory possible. Indeed. And they got us to work together. Amazing. Now let's go find Lady Arabelle. And with the Alliance leaders, too. I assume you had something to do with the Ascendant Order's retreat? I admit I feared all was lost, as more of those rogue knights pressed onto shore. Then the castle's siege weapons unloaded on their ships, and the dark storm suddenly abated. Tell me, what actually happened in Memorial Hall? I knew you were special the moment I saw you, my dear. The Ascendant Magus hoped to topple thrones, Yet instead, his threat brought the Alliance leaders together. And you show them peace is worth fighting for. Take this with my deepest thanks. Nothing about this peace conference has gone as planned. But the Ascendant Order might have given us something we didn't have before. A reason for the Alliance leaders to cooperate. Can I ask one more favor of you, dear? 
Lord Bacaro needs to hear about our victory at All Flags. He can stop mustering a counterforce, at least for now. Thanks to you, Count Amar's plan to decapitate the Alliances has failed. The leaders are safe and back to their usual bickering. I suspect Count Amar's defeat cost the Ascendant Order most of their strength. It will take time for them to recover, which gives us a chance to salvage the peace talks. Bring the news to Lord Bacaro, then meet me back at Mandrake Manor. Lord Bacaro should be at Steadfast Manor. Do hurry before he strikes off with an army of hired knights to join a battle that's already over. Besides, it's not often I get to send someone good news. While the conference site is repaired, I'll secure them in Gonfalon Bay. The captains and Koska can watch over the royals and Valesia, and we'll have time to send for a new fighter skill delegate. I'm surprised this turned out as well as it did. That's a difficult question. I knew we had to try. Actually, I'm a bit embarrassed. Lord Bakara trusted me to protect the conference, and I let him down. The Ascendant Order was one step ahead of me all along. I've never failed like this before. I didn't notice how powerful the Ascendant Order had become, and I should have sniffed out Count Amad's treachery. The clues were there. Wealth, grievances, arcane skill. Thanks to you, we salvaged the situation, and I can learn from my mistakes. Like Prince Ernskar, I had Captain Suso commandeer a siege engine. That sent a few of their ships to the bottom. Then, when the shaking stopped and the storm clouds parted, the remaining vessels fled. After you defeated the Magus, I suppose. No, but I'm not surprised. He and the Steadfast don't have a standing army. I imagine he's still at his manor sending missives across High Isle in an attempt to recruit knights willing to aid us. Go tell him he can stop. The threat is over for now. Surely we're done now. <laughs> I could use a drink and a meal. It must have been tough getting captured by convicts on Aminos. Good point, Iran. But do remember, he's only a prince. Raise your hand if you care what the High King thinks. Thank you, Zaji. Zaji cares. Can we go home now? Wrong royal, Zaji. We're with the Queen, remember? Now, where did we leave that scow we stole? What? Did no one tie up the ship before we ran into battle? Despite everything that happened, we're alive and well. Perhaps Lord Bakaro's dream of peace isn't dead after all. I came here to be polite, but now... Who knows? Await word from Lord Bakaro, I imagine. I came all this way and endured much. It would be a shame to just walk away now. I must send word back to my court. Assure them that I am alive and well. After that, we shall see. For now, provided Emmerich and Euron's cub agree to remain, we were able to put aside our differences and deal with the Ascendant Magus, Perhaps that indicates a measure of hope for peace, after all. My father won't believe half of what I tell him happened here. Shaw's bones. <laughs> I hardly believe it myself. I say enough fighting and talking for today. We should celebrate our victory. Next? <laughs> what makes you think I know? My father's instructions didn't cover anything like this. I'm just happy to still be alive and not dead on the battlements, or roasting in the belly of a lava beast. We just escaped death, and you're asking me about politics? Uh, I suppose I should get used to it, but not without a great deal of mead. I think I understand why the Skull King drinks so much now. <laughs> if the other leaders agree, I will stay to talk. What now, I wonder? Do Iren, Ernskar, and I remain here? Do we leave to resume our royal duties? If I get a choice, I'd rather avoid returning to that torture device they call my throne for as long as reasonably possible. I'm not quite certain.
Lord Bakaro's plans are in disarray. We were stranded on Amanos and assaulted in his supposedly secure facility. Makes one wonder if all this talk of peace is actually worth the effort. Ending a war is a complicated business. If the others agree to remain, I don't see how I can get out of it. If nothing else, this little adventure has proven that we can work together when the need arises. And it was a memorable battle, truly. High King Emric looks no worse for wear. In fact, he seems rather happy. You're doing, my friend? Know that you impressed me throughout this long ordeal, and it was good to fight alongside my fellow captains instead of against them. Very good. We all fought well today against unfathomable odds. The enemies of peace have retreated back into the shadows, thanks to our efforts, and thanks to you. Well, that turned out better than I expected. I'm glad it's over. It is over, right? I'm not sure I have another fight in me. At least not today. Lord Bakaro should be at Steadfast Manor. Do hurry before he strikes off with an army of hired knights to join a battle that's already over. Besides, it's not often I get to say... The Alliance leaders are safe, and the remainder of the Ascendant Order's forces are in retreat. Your work, I assume? Thanks to you, the rulers of Tamriel are alive, and there is still hope for peace. Queen Irene is safe again! Saji is grateful. It would have been terribly embarrassing to lose her a second time. <laughs> But the battle is over now, yes? We can all take a rest? Saji is exhausted. This was your doing, I suppose. All those tasty Ascendant Order knights to munch on, and they suddenly turned tail and fled. Probably for the best. Zaji was starting to get winded. He's nowhere near as strong as he thinks he is. Oh, bother! Milady's gotten herself into terrible trouble! <laughs>